Alright guys, so in the previous video we have got an introduction to the page that we are going to build and also we have set up our environment with the create react app. So in today's video we are going to build this page section so you can see in the page section we have this images then we have this text and a button. For that I need to create another file. I will call it pagedata.js. And here I'm going to paste all of the code. So this is the data we will need. And also I have created another directory inside the source directory. I have added all of the images and icons. And you can also notice that I'm not using relative import. I'm using absolute import. So inside the page data array, we have bunch of objects. Each of the object will represent a section. So we have this title property. And we have this bold title property because we have this normal title and we also have this bold title. Then we have this tag and button and finally the image. Now the second section has another property called center text because this section is centered horizontally and also its text is aligned to center. Then we have another object and inside that object we have another property called bold first because on the third section you can see that the bold text comes first and the normal text comes second but in other cases that is the opposite okay so these are the information we need for creating that page sections and let's create another directory inside the source directory So let's cd into the source and let's create a directory components and let's cd into the components and let's create another directory. I will call it page section. So let's cd into page section. Let's create two files page section dot jsx and page section dot styles dot js so let's open up the files page section dot jsx and let's just create a component and let's go to the app dot js file and let's import the page section component it will be from components slash page section slash page section and I will remove this app and also I will need the page data so import page data from page data so let's create a div and now I will loop over the page data dot map let's get the data and let's insert the page section and I'll spread out the data and I need to pass a key so I'm gonna import nano ID and let's pass a key and on the browser we don't see anything because the font color is white so let's open up the page section styles file and let's import style component And we need to create bunch of style component. First, we will create the section container. So, section container. And the tag will be section. Then we will create a component for background image. And that tag will be image. And let's create another component. It will be called content container. And the tag will be div. The content container will contain all of this text and button. Then we need a title component. And the tag will be h2. Then we need the subtitle
and the tag will be p let's create another component this time it will be button and the tag will be anchor tag not button tag then we will need a tag component and the tag will be div all right so these are the component that we will need so let's go to page section file I will just paste the import statement and I need to destructure the props so I will paste them here so we have imported all of the style components and all of the props that will be passed from the app.js file so let's remove these tips and let's add section container and now let's add background image it will not be image prop it will be source prop and the value will be image um, we have an error section container was not found in page section dot styles file okay so I have misspelled it so it will be section container not container okay so now the error is gone and we have images so now let's add the content then we will style these components so after the background image we will add the content container and inside the content container we will add the tag but we will add tag only if tag exists so if tag exists then we will insert the tag component then we will put the title component now we need to add a condition here so if bold first property is truthy that means we have to put the bold text first so i'm gonna add a fragment here then i'll add the b tag and the text will be bold title and then i will put the title and i'll close the fragment else I want the reverse so I will copy this and I'll paste it here and the title will come first and bold title will come second um, we have an error oops I have to pass a closing curly okay so now we don't have any error but we also don't see the text don't worry about that we will fix that later then we need subtitle and the text will be subtitle and finally we will add a button and the text will be button so let's style the components let's go to page section styles file we want each of the section to take the full height and width of the screen so let's go to the section let's add width of 100 view width and height to 100 view height and position will be relative and now let's go to the background image we want width to be 100 percent and also height will be 100 percent now the image doesn't look good so we need to add object fit which will be cover and object position will be 50% and 50% all right so that's it for the background image but I'm gonna add some overlay over the image so let's go to the section container and let's use the after pseudo selector let's pass empty content and position absolute top will be 0 left will be 0 width will be 100% and height will be 100% and background color will be an RGBA value and it will be 0, 0, 0 for red green and blue but for alpha I mean for opacity it will be 0 
not three, two. And you can see we have this black overlay. Now let's style the content container. Let's make position absolute. Then top 50% to move it to the center horizontally, not horizontally, vertically. And left will be 10%. And you can see we have this text, but the text is behind the overlay. We want to move it forward. So we will pass C index of five. Okay, so now the text is in front of the view, but the text is not at the center. It starts from the center, so we need to use transform. We need to use translate x, not x, translate y to negative 50%. Now it is at the center. Now let's add width of 80%, but max width will be 100 rem. Now let's make text transform to uppercase. But we want different style for this section because this section has a prop called center text like I've shown you earlier. The text will be at the center and also text align will be center. So we need to add styles based on the prop. So we can pass a function here and props will be the first argument or parameter if props dot center text is true then I want to add some different style I'm gonna import the CSS function from style component and I will add CSS text align will be center and the text is not aligned to the center. Maybe I haven't passed the prop yet. Yep. So let's pass the prop to the content container. Center text will be, oops, will be center text. Now you can see the text is aligned center, but only in this section, not in other sections. Let's go to the styles file again. And I also need to move it to the center, the whole container. So left will be 50%. And again, use transform. Translate. Negative 50% for X axis and also negative 50% for Y axis. Okay, so that's it for the content container component. Now let's style the title. First, let's add font size of 5.6 rem. And we need to change the font family. And the font family will be Rajdhani and Sans Serif for fallback. Let's change the font weight to 300. And line height of 1.2. And now let's add margin of 2 rem for top and bottom and 0 for left and right. And now we need to style the B tag for the bold text. So B. Let's make font weight to 700 and display will be block. Alright, so that's it for the title. Now let's style the subtitle. Let's add font size of 2 rem and letter spacing of 0 0.1 rem and let's add margin bottom of 2 rem and text transform of none. Alright, so now let's style the button. Let's make display to inline block and margin of 2 rem for top and bottom and zero for left and right. Then font size will be 1.6 rem. Then font weight will be 700. Then we need to add border of 0 0.2 rem. 
solid and we need to use a hex value 6 f's then bd and let's add padding of 1.5 rem for top and bottom and 5.5 rem for left and right and cursor will be pointer and I need to add a hover effect I will make border color to white and let's add transition and I want to animate border color in 0 0.2 second is in and out okay so now we have this hover effect now let's style the tag the first section has a tag this one recent mission so let's style the tag let's make display inline block and font size of 1.4 rem and font weight of 700 latest spacing will be 0 0.2 rem padding left will be 4 rem and I want to make position relative now before this tag text we have this little line so we have to add that we're gonna use the before pseudo selector let's add background color of 0 3d let's add content empty display block and height of 0 0.5 rem and width of 2.5 rem let's make position absolute top will be 0 0.5 rem and left will be 0 Alright, so our tag is also styled, so our page section is now ready, it is looking pretty good. So it is done for the small screen sizes, we will work on that later for bigger screen sizes. So in the next video, we are gonna build this social media section, we have this little text and also we have this icons. So if you are already enjoying the video series, consider like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the next videos. So that's it. Stay safe. Goodbye.